Uh, joining us live is uh, Mr. Olushola Teniola, the former president, Association of Telecoms Operators of Nigeria. He will be talking to us on our phone lines in connection with the national identification number, NIN. Mr. Teniola, thank you for joining us on Galaxy Television News. A good evening to you and your listeners and viewers. Now, let's start with the federal government's NIN deadline. Millions of Nigerians home and abroad are supposed to do this registration. And from information, only about 47.8 million Nigerians have registered. Do you think this deadline, date of February 9, is it realistic? Uh, thanks for that question. Um, I believe that... Uh, our president, President Mahmoud Buhari, deadline of January the 19th. We're now on the 21st of January, and as you stated correctly, uh, we have 47.8 million NINs, uh, NINs, that still needs to be verified by the NIMSC uh, system. Uh, and if uh, we assume that everything is 100%, uh, then uh, the World Bank project of having 150 million Nigerians registered uh, would mean that we have a shortfall of about 102 million Nigerians. Um, and I think that if we take a realistic uh, viewpoint, um, that uh, gap is quite significant. Uh, the deadline of February 9th uh, may not be achieved because to date, since the inception of the NIMC NIN project, uh, we've only been able to achieve below 50 million registered Nigerians on the NIN uh, ID project. So it would appear logically and mathematically that uh, this date may have to be reviewed by the federal government and extended based on scientific data and uh, obviously the idiosyncratic nature of our environment in terms of lack of infrastructure, logistics risks, and the fact that uh, we have certain uh, Nigerians in the public claiming that uh, the pre-booking system that NIMC has rolled out uh, is actually uh, giving them appointments beyond the 9th of February, in certain cases uh, in April of this year. Now, uh, there's been several complaints that are trying to link the NIN with the phone lines. It takes a very long time to get confirmation. Why is that so? And how long does it supposed to take? Is it supposed to take to uh, get a confirmation? I think uh, NIMSI needs to really uh, address these issues. Um, I think that it's very obvious to the public and to those that are queuing up at the NIMSI's headquarters or centers or the enrollment centers that something is amiss. Um, if uh, their back end systems, and I'm referring to in particular to the NIMSI API, that's the application programming interface that connects to the database. If that wasn't problematic, uh, then we wouldn't be having to wait for one week to verify a NIN or a batch of NINs, as the case may be. Uh, because if you factor that delay in to this project, you know definitely that within the next three weeks, there's no way that the NIMC uh, system can cope with the magnitude of demands of trying to register every Nigerian every legible resident, and I believe diplomats now, uh, to the order of, I would guess, around 106 million Nigerians and uh, legible residents uh, having to try and achieve getting an NIN by the deadline of the 9th of February. Uh, so this uh, back-end uh, challenge that they have needs to be resolved immediately. Any front-end applications that they deploy in public needs to be fully tested so that there aren't any embarrassments uh, and any further setbacks to this uh, project. Uh, as we know, this project has been going on for many years uh, and governments or the current administration of government is trying to achieve an, 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 an end game uh, 
Uh, but this end game won't be achieved if uh, we're having to battle with many uh, issues, and especially issues that should have been resolved before this uh, deadline was set. Uh, thank you very much for your contribution, uh, Mr. Olusho Latenyola, former president, Association of Telecoms Operators in Nigeria. Thank you for your time, sir. Thank you.